Welcome along to everyone joining around the world for the second test match of the series. Australia winning the toss and electing to bat first here at the Perth Stadium, the very first test match to be played here. Well, he gets hold of this one. And uh, he'll find a boundary for it as well, Aaron Finch. He's off the mark. Oh, that is a delightful stroke down the ground. Marcus Harris gets in behind it. What a shot. Beautiful again from Harris down the ground. It's not a big backswing. It's just a nice, true push of the bat. Oh, it's a flashing blade outside off stump. Full in length. Harris pounced on it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, that is a big worry. Oh, well, there you go. No effect on Marcus Harris. Yep. And there it is. A lovely little milestone for Marcus Harris, his first Test 50. Yeah, and a good one too, under pressure. Oh, hammered off the back foot from Finch. Nothing uncertain about that. Yep. Yay! Nice hustle from Finch and Harris as the 100 comes up. Australia's best partnership of the series to date. Yep. Well, he's over-pitched again and again. Finch enjoys it. Punching it away through the covers. Yep. Well done, Aaron Finch. He's been under all sorts of pressure this week. People have questioned his position in the side. Whether he should bat at the top of the order. A fine 50 from the Victorian. Oh, that's really close. That has to be out. It is. Boomer gets the wicket. Finally, they get Finch trapped in front. And Australia lose their first. Wow. wow. Look at the deviation off the pitch with that delivery. At 144 kilometres an hour as well. Flashed and dropped. It'll burst through the hands and go for four. That's a tough chance. You feel like you should have taken it. KL Rahul, second slip. Edged it out. Usman Kawaja, he goes. He just couldn't get into any rhythm, so he went searching. A bit of extra bounce, wasn't it? And uh, glad to try to play that attacking shot. He's been the calm, really. I get the feeling. Oh, oh, there might be a wicket here. There you go. I find this has hit a little crack. Bang. Also, if anything, it's come back at him. You'd expect the ball to leave him a little bit. If anything, it's just come back at him. Oh. A nasty bruise there for Sean Marsh tomorrow morning. He's a tough guy. Certainly won't show any pain, but just taking his eye off the ball there. That's tight as well. And Pluck, the captain. What an inspiration he is. Something special to finish him off. It's probably just a bit too close to cut. And look at the stretch from Virat Kohli. That's an absolute classic. Oh, glove over the top. Vicious. Michant around the wicket. Oh, it's livening it up here. I just wonder if it was actually shoulder. Oh, nothing. Lacking in confidence there from Sean Marsh. the deep but he won't get near that Sean Marsh rocks back and fires one to the boundary to close out the over yes. dropped uh, this is a nick yes he's done so well Rishabh Pant oh and he's driven it straight in straight out hey. wide of the fielder that'll run away should be in the bug we drive by instinct Oh, good shot again. Lovely timing. And getting the part-timers in to give his uh, regular bowlers a rest is proving a touch expensive. Got him. Great catch. Probably better off playing with a straight bat, hitting it through, maybe in front of point. Very good. Very well played from Travis Head. Third 50 in test matches, second in the series. Slashed away, four. 
real good commitment from Travis Head. His uh, eyes lit up. Crashed. Down to third man and out. Wicked that players will come out and play a few strokes this week because of the uneven nature, a bit of movement. And I think most players will probably get out playing in that kind of fashion. Wow. Oh, just watch this one. I think that's just hit the normal part of the wicket as well. I don't think that hit a crack at all. Don Bradman's not hitting that one. And don't worry, the Indian batsmen have all seen that. Wow. Yeah, commanding stroke from the Australian captain. Last ball of day one. Oh, they like it, a big shout. Sounded like there potentially was double noise. And there's applause all around the ground. Well, India have just done enough to keep themselves interested in this game, but 277 on the board for Australia.